This gorgeous Class C motorhome may help you to get more immersed into the things you like to do outside. Take a look. Show. Right, let's take a look at this Dynamax Class C on a Dodge chassis. Let's take a look at the numbers. For the size of this, I was surprised how much this thing weighs. This has a dry weight of 16,095 pounds and has an overall length of 31 feet 2 inches. So it has a cargo capacity of 2,900. 157 pounds if you look on the inside here the interior is very nice nice leather seats all powered As we look around this slide out on this side, it's gear driven. And if you didn't notice, I mean, it is the Cummings diesel, but it's also four wheel drive. And to say this is for off-roading and it has I'll flip this over, you can see there's protection underneath there, skid plates. It is equipped with solar up top. There's your solar con controllers, your inverter. All set up in here. Here's your own generator, hydraulics, your leveling system. Let's see if we can get this door open. Place to hold the tank. And there's a built in heater to make sure that this area does not freeze. And that heater, as you can see, in this area is your valves. So all you got to do is unscrew this, put your pipe out, turn the heater on, and you will not freeze anything up on inside of here. A control panel for some lights, and a generator, and a compartment heater, and the pass-through storage. And look, it's plastic, so you can put wet stuff in here. So if you had your kayaks or anything that put away wet you can do that in here there's a hitch and there's a seven pun seven pin connector okay and your regular four pin connector that's a two inch hitch and remember this thing can only I think that the max this thing can do is 20,000 pounds and you only got 3,000 pounds left available to you so you're not going to be towing too much on with this let's so walk around try to get a look at the front it's pretty mean looking that's a nice looking vehicle i love the color scheme on it i love the chrome i know i'm old-fashioned i love chrome black and chrome i think it's beautiful i think this looks fantastic See the awning down the side. So as we go down, another storage compartment here. Again, it is plastic, so you can put stuff away wet. Has drains in it to drain things out. Another compartment that is put some reflective material in it to try to last to extend the season for you there. And this is the other side of that pass through storage through the back. A nice big awning up top. And you see it's a Truma. It's going to be a waterless hot water heater. 
cable TV, the plug here. As you go in, immediately to the left, there's a trash can, flip up counter space, controls for inside, charging port on this side, another cabinet, a little storage in here, runs around towards the back, storage up in here. And then you have the cab over bed. Currently it's in a down position. You can see you can sleep two people there. You can hear the AC's running and it's very cool. It looks like it's a general electric air conditioner. The TV does have a sound bar on it. Curtains here for both the front. And as you look forward, the rear backup camera there. And you can get a better look of the cab area from this location. And this curtain here where it's Velcro, this would Velcro here to give you some privacy inside the cabin. Here's your ladder and your bed rack. If you're up in this bed, you can or this counter here, you can charge. Access to your trash can. Double bowl sink, stainless steel. Some inlaid LEDs from the back. Here's the other side of that cabinet. I have a drawer and it is stapled and glued. Self closing. Okay, there's a three burner gas stove, microwave, convection oven, little storage up top, backlit cabinet with the glass doors, gives it a nice look. Linoleum floor. Booth seating for the tabletop here. Notice the seat belts so you can sit in these seats while moving. This does fold out into a bed. You can sleep two more on here, maybe two small people here. You can sleep two in the overhead bunk and potentially two on the dinette for four in the front living area. This is a gas electric refrigerator it's a nice size have some pantry with slide out drawers another section for pantry or for clothing go into the bath nice stand-up shower there's no shelving in the shower, but they do give you this bag to hold your products. An upgraded shower head. Small round sink. A little bit of storage beneath here. Little storage behind the medicine cabinet. Max air fan. A little window for some natural ventilation. Here's your buttons to flush the toilet. Some power and charging. Let me go back into the bedroom. Here's your exit window, emergency exit. There's enough room on both sides of the bed with cabinets on either side with drawers, overhead cabinets on top of the bed as well. Another air conditioning unit. Lots of lights. There's also lots of places here for charging. Next to the bed, small little step up on either side of the bed. Lots of room here to get around. 
little cedar line in the back. Cedar line drawers. Again, there's power on either side of the bed. Little cup holder. Reading lamps. Storage above. It's pretty deep. Another television. It's mounted on the door. The magnets holding the door are very strong. Took a little bit of pressure to pull them over. I'm not quite sure how I feel about having the TV mounted on the door. It's going to be a lot of extra weight hanging on both that bracket. But the wiring here is not the best. But it does keep it out of the way. And I guess it is a solution. I do really like this Class C RV. I think the outside, the exterior painting on it, I think it is beautiful. I really like the color coordination. The graphics on it are fantastic. Having the four-wheel drive in this diesel package on a Dodge chassis is going to be able to take you into some of the backcountry areas. And it's capable of taking your ATV, UTV. Or the cold weather package on here would be awesome for those who want to go into the north with the snowmobiles as well. Comment below and tell us about your experience with it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's what help me out greatly. And hit that bell button to get notifications of any future videos. Have a fantastic day.